Hello, and welcome to Nikolai and Friends. Today, Chef Ted contemplates taking the day off, but who's going to step up and cook the braised beef short rib that he had planned for dinner? Stay tuned to find out on this edition of Nikolai and Friends. Chef Ted was feeling a little run down and decided that today he was going to take a day off, maybe. He thought about all the time he'd put in training everybody in the kitchen, and he felt confident that they would be able to pull off tonight's meal. So Chef Ted decided to take the night off. He realized the Sheik was also off, and they got together to watch one of their favorite shows. Chef Ted enjoys the silliness of the show, but he thinks that the Sheik just enjoys Colonel Clink's haircut, or lack thereof. With Chef Ted and the Sheik off tonight, that means the responsibility of dinner will fall squarely on these guys. And right away, Skolito has got jokes. All jokes aside, these two are ready to peel and chop and raisin vegetables. Skolito is quickly mastering the knife as he shows off his impressive fine dice. Nikolai and Skolito inspect the boneless short rib, which is not a cut from the rib section of the cow, but from the chuck section. The commercial name for this cut of meat is the chuck flap. Not to be confused with Chuck D, Chuck E, or Chuck E Cheese. Nikolai and Skolito season the meat with kosher salt and a tri-colored peppercorn blend. As the saute pan comes up to temperature, they preheat the oven to 320 degrees. After clacking his tongs together a few times in order to appease the culinary gods, Nikolai and Skolito were now ready to sear the meat. Seeing that the pan is now up to proper temperature, Nikolai will add whole butter and then the meat. Seeing all the activity in the pan makes Nikolai happy because he knows that a stagnant pan leads to food that's bland. Nikolai turns the meat over to sear the other side. He's happy with the pan series and cheese. Again, he repeats this until all sides have been seared. Next, Skolito and Nikolai remove the meat from the pan and place it on a cooling rack. Once the pan has come back to temperature, they will add the garlic and lightly saute. Then they will add the carrots and celery and sweat a little bit longer. And now facilities manager Greg steps in once again to attempt to flip the saute pan with his wrong hand while looking through the viewfinder. Great job, facilities manager Greg. Now get back to work. Now that the braising vegetables have been sweat, Nikolai adds the beef back to the saute pan. Now a lot of times in a recipe like this, you may see red wine or other alcohol called for. You may not drink red wine or alcohol. We at the facility do not. So we have a solution for you. So in order to mimic the robust and acidic flavor profile of red wine, we mix equal parts tomato sauce and Pepsi, which we add to our beef broth. After all the ingredients are together for the braising liquid and allowed to come to a quick boil, a lid is placed on it and it is then placed in the oven. After approximately two hours in the oven, the pan is removed. The meat is now fork tender, and the broth is a beautiful, robust, and rich flavor. And here Skolito and Nikolai stand with their final product. They put the short rib on mashed potatoes and served it with the braising vegetables and pan jus. This makes for a very nice dish for this time of year, with the damp and the cold of the late fall, early winter approaching. For a little extra heat, the guys like to have some horseradish. Try it any way you like. For all of us here at Nikolai and Friends, I'm Facilities Manager Greg saying, thanks for watching, see you next time, and never trust an octopus. This has been a Walks Out, Clocks Out production.